Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another video. And today we're going to be breaking down the new Prison of Elders stream teaser trailer uh, that was released just now. Actually, it released like five minutes ago uh, from where I am at right now. But for you guys, it all have released probably a few hours ago. Uh, and we're going to be breaking the full thing down today, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, and so here we go. First thing I just wanted to mention before we start the video, uh, I've actually had a really horrible f throat for a few days. Uh, and so I just wanted to mention that if I sound different, then that's why. Uh, but anyways, let's begin by actually watching the trailer. Welcome to Prison of Elders. Prepare for combat. Fight. Kill. Survive. So guys, that was the trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The first time I watched it, I kind of freaked out a little bit. It, it does look pretty damn cool. Uh, and for those of you who have been saying, no raid, no raid, there's no raid, it's going to kill the game. Um, I recommend that you tune in tomorrow, which is May 6th at 11am Pacific or 7pm UK time, just to see what's up with the new Prison of Elders, in case it actually turns out to be good, because I think it will. Uh, and I really hope it does. But anyways, now let's actually break down the trailer. So we start off with just the animated blood and violence bit on the trailer, and then we move into the actual thing where it says, you know, Twitch reveal, Prison of Elders, and then we come up to this point right here. So as you can see, uh, we have the three guardians standing in the middle of the room. I'm not sure if you'll spawn in like this, like back to back. Um, you can also see that there's multiple doors that you can leave out of, um, which I will talk a bit more about later on. If you guys saw in the actual trailer uh, previously, uh, there was more than one race in the actual prison itself. And so, uh, I think these doors could mean something, but I'll theorise about that in just a second. Um, but yeah, this is just showing off three-man activity. The starting room looks pretty damn cool as well. Then uh, we cut to a shot of Varix real quick, and then we stop right here just to show you guys this picture. Uh, so as you can see, we have a picture of what looks like a giant servitor uh, that you're actually going to have to fight. Uh, this is what I imagine. Now, I don't know if it'll be the same every time or whether it'll be randomized. I really do hope it's randomized, and perhaps maybe uh, you go through several different rooms, and then sometimes it's like a maze, so you'll get cut off sometimes, and there'll just be like an enemy, a massive enemy. Uh, just stood in the doorway, uh, but I think this might be what that is, uh, and as you can see, this is the massive, just a massive ball of fire, uh, which I think personally is like a boss servitor. Then we cut to a shot where it simply says prepare guardians, and we're going to stop right here once again, uh, because I just wanted to point out, like, look at this room. Now, uh, to me, this looks like it's actually open-topped, and I don't know what the big glowy thing is in the background, but that could be of some importance. Um, but as you can see, we just have this massive big structure uh, that just goes all the way around. And this, uh, this is what makes me feel like that it may not be completely randomized. Because if, if Bungie could, I, I'm, I'm no expert at, like, you know, game design or anything. But if Bungie could pull something, like, massive off, like, you can generate random massive structures just like this. That I think, well, that's pretty incredible. But uh, I don't know if it's possible. That's my, that's my issue with it. Uh, but yeah, you can ju apart from that, you can just see some guardians standing and pointing over at where there's likely enemies. The next part I'm going to stop at is right here. Now, as you can see, um, this guardian's helmet is now lighting up. Now, I don't know if this is an exotic perk or something like that, um, on, on one of the new items or, or something like that. Um, but this, this honestly looks pretty cool. I don't know if this is just... I really do think that this is just a super effect, but in the previous shot, it wasn't glowing and now it is. And so that was just something interesting I wanted to point out. Then it says uh, to enter the Prison of Elders, then we see Guardians walking through fire, and then we come to this. So this was a shock to, well, it wasn't a shock necessarily for some of us, uh, but for some of us, this was a massive shock, because we all know that the House of Wolves is supposed to be a Fallen DLC, where all of the content is supposed to be about the Fallen. Um, but this, as you can see, we have the Cabal. 
uh, in the Prison of Elders. Oh, that's what we assume. I really doubt they've got another activity with the Cabal in it in a fallen DLC. Um, but this could mean a lot of things. Personally, once again, I think it means randomised waves of enemies or randomised rooms or randomised something because it may obviously means that it's not all just going to be fallen, which is excellent and sounds awesome for most players since a lot of people thought that this was going to ruin the game and the sound of randomization in the actual activity itself sounds very good to me because it adds replayability. Then, as always, I like to give a shout out to the people that are going to be doing the stream. Uh, this time round, it's going to be with the House of Wolves senior designer, Matt Sammons. Next up, you can see here that we have the Hive, also confirmed to be a part of the Prison of Elders. What for yet? Of course, we don't know. Um, the only uh, race of enemy that isn't shown in the trailer is the Vex, but I really doubt that they'd leave them out considering... Um, we have the Hive, even though there's been Crota's End. I don't think they'd leave the Vex out, even though we've had Vault of Glass. Um, just my thoughts, but yeah, the Hive are going to be in it as well. Then if we carry on, you can see that the Guardians are stood in some sort of, like, you know, Hive room. Uh, again, I believe that this means that it will be somewhat randomised as far as the rooms go. Um, perhaps, there's, like I said, there was multiple doors in the spawn room. Perhaps that these will all lead off to different sections of the map. So if you want to fight Fallen, you go to one part. If you want to fight Cabal, you go to another part. Uh, if you want to fight Hive, another part. And Vex, another part. Um, that's just a suggestion, though. Of course, this that probably won't be true. Um, but I'm just suggesting things, of course. As I've said, we'll find out everything tomorrow. Then I wanted to show you guys, once again, giving the shout-outs to the people doing the stream, we have the special community guest, who is Professor Broman. Uh, this time around, he's going to be doing it, and he's probably, like, my favourite streamer, and so I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, on, the, uh, on the actual Bungie stream itself. Now, this bit, next bit is a little bit interesting. As you can see, we have a Cabal soldier rising out of the ground. Now, this is where I think, uh, like I've said, that randomised bosses... It bosses will come into play um, because basically uh, if you don't know how the prison of elders has worked so a lot of people have speculated that it's going to be very randomized uh, as I've mentioned that a lot in the video you guys probably get the idea um, so this could possibly be one of the bosses and perhaps he has like custom abilities uh, custom weapons or something like that and I'm going to guess that when you kill him you'll get some form of reward whether that be a weapon one of the armor and weapon cores that we've seen something like that I'm not not too sure at at the moment. Finally, we cut to once again what looks like, to me anyways, another boss or some sort of custom enemy. Because as you can see, we it, the knight is ground pound. The knight is ground. He's ground pounding the people. He's do. He's doing it right now. He's ground pounding the people out of the ways because he 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 is is it's his personal bubble. Um, but yeah, this is once again like I say, this looks like a custom boss to me. Uh, even though it's not too impressive, I mean, people do complain that all of the bosses in the game look exactly just like all of the other enemies. Like Crota looks like a knight. Uh, Atheon looks like a Minotaur. Um, but yeah, I think this is cool anyways because we're gonna get custom abilities on the custom bosses. And that should just about wrap up the trailer then, guys. So I want to know in the comment section what you think the Prison of Elders is going to be like. Of course, like I've said, you can tune in tomorrow on uh, Wednesday, May 6th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time or 7 p.m. UK Time to find out exactly what's going down in the Prison of Elders. If you can't make it out to the stream, don't worry. I'll have all. I'll have a full breakdown of everything that's important in the trailer on my channel as soon as it's finished. Um... But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, ciao.